So for our smash burgers, we just got 80-20 ground beef chuck. We're going to cut up a full onion, seasoned it with just some Montreal steak seasoning, some oregano, some black pepper and salt. We're going to coarsely cut this up and put it right in these smash burgers and make some balls. Smash burger balls. Stay tuned. Got about a pound of burger and three quarters of that onion. We're just gonna mix this up together until it all combines. We're gonna make four balls out of this one pound, so it's a quarter pound burgers. Okay, we're gonna make quarter pound smash burgers. We want this onion to all be inside here. And we'll make some patties up. Now these are not your little smash burger patties. These are some gorilla sized. And these are gonna be some delicious, delicious smash burgers. All right, so there's our ground chuck balls. Don't they look good? The griddle's already heated up on high. So let's go slap these puppies on there and get them fried up. And we'll come in and build our burger. Now around here, Lewis, the bake, Lewis shop, the Lewis bake shop, that's the type of buns that we like. But for today's burgers, we're going with the deluxe. They're a little bigger, a little different design, and they should work perfect for what we're gonna do. All right, so we gotta get this bacon going. And you know us, we like our bacon peppered. I got it peppered. Sweet pepper good. Come back when that's all fried up. All right, it's time. We got some liquid gold here. Liquid gold here to work with. These aren't done, but they can keep cooking. What we need is this deliciousness of the mouth. get real hot we're on high 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 and we're gonna put our balls on here our smash burger balls our onions and now the mistake I see most people making when they make smash burgers is the first thing they do after they put these on is they smash them I mean it's a smash burger right so you put it on you smash it but that's not what you do you brown up this whole outside Roll these and brown this whole up outside. Get this whole thing seared, okay? And then once you get the whole outside seared, then you smash it as hard as you can, flat as you can. That's gonna give you a nice, good searing on the outside. It's gonna give you that, that browning taste on a lot of this meat, and it's gonna be the best smash burger you ever had. Stick around, stay tuned guys. He said, wasn't that hot? Yeah, it's hot, no pain, no gain. We're cooking here, we're not playing around. ain't no joke. It's 
See how they're getting brown on the outside? Looks real nice. like big meatballs. Some lemon onions are falling out. That's okay. Don't worry about it. We're going to smash these right back down into them here in a second. Windy, cool day today. All right, let's go get something to smash these with. We'll let these cook a little bit more. We're gonna flip them one more time and we're gonna smash these puppies. And we'll go inside and build something. All right, so these are just pre-cooked potatoes. They're just uh, olive oil, flour, and uh, seasoned salt. We're gonna put these in. I like putting them, make sure one of the wedges are down. They are pre-cooked, so we're just going to basically brown these up while the stuff's cooking. If you want to take this stuff that's in the bottom and sprinkle it on there, you can. It's not going to hurt. All right, now we got those potatoes going. We're gonna smash these and you wanna press them as hard as you can. See, that's not done in the middle yet. But we do have a brown on the outside. Hard as you can. Still on high heat. You guys see what I'm saying? You're not smelling what I'm smelling. I'll tell you that. It smells delicious. Tammy! Grandma's here. Alright, now we gotta put toast up our bun. 
Now the onions that came off here, I was doing them with the potatoes. Take a look, closer look. Oh yeah, those look good. Let's go build our sandwich. Okay, so Gorilla Burger is the smash burger. Two pieces of bacon, full pieces of bacon. Doesn't have to be crispy. Pickles, I put pickles on my pickles. The onions are already in it, but I might even tend to add a slice of onion. I like mustard, I don't always use this mustard, but I do like this beer mustard, Great Lakes, Bertman Original, Dortmunder, Golden Lager, Beer Mustard. We're going to put a nice amount of that on here. Take our pickle spreader, spread that around. It's got the nice chunks of mustard seed in there. Really nice beer flavor. We're going to put a tomato maybe even two anytime i have tomato has to have salt and pepper even if it's on a sandwich and a nice slice of lettuce now sometimes i'll add cheese it'd be a sharp cheddar cheese today i'm eating it without cheese this is the ultimate let me get a better shot. This is the ultimate epic Gorilla Smash Burger right here. Just take a big old smash of that Smash Burger, shall we? Mmm. Don't mind if I do. There you have it, guys. I feel bad even sharing that. Some days, I go days and days just craving one of these. You can tell them by their eyes. They'll have crazy eyes. Yes. Mm. This has been Cooking with the Gorilla. There's a whole playlist.